Well, hey there, how are you? Welcome to part three, the final video in this series on the topic of self-motivation. If you haven't seen parts one and two yet, I encourage you to click up here, watch the first two videos, it'll really tie everything together with what we're gonna talk about today. If this is your first time on Driving Me Crazy, thank you. I hope you'll spend a couple of minutes and I hope you'll consider subscribing. Come along for more of the conversations we have on this channel. I should mention you can also find me all over social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, no matter where you go, you'll find me at hashtag driving me crazy. Today's video is based on the idea of identifying your values. What's really important to you when it comes to decision making, and motivating yourself, figuring out what's truly important, what's gonna drive you to achieve those goals. Let's recap where we've been so far. Part one of the series talked about being specific and identifying what it is we really want. What are the specific things that we're looking for? Detailing out exactly what it is we're trying to motivate ourselves to do. Part two dealt with understanding what factors are gonna motivate us. Are we propelled forward by a desire to get away from something? Or are we making this move and motivating ourselves in order to go after some type of a reward or payoff at the end? Now that we've done that self-examination about what it is we want and what's gonna drive us towards it, the final key towards this self-motivation is to understand the why behind all of it. We're talking about our values and figuring out why something is important to us. Of course, it'll help if I can use some specific examples as well. So I'll use our two scenarios from the previous two videos to kind of help demonstrate the point. So, if we're a job seeker and we've decided that we're either motivated to start a new career because we're tired of the dead end job we're in or because we simply want more money or a promotion, it can be hard to nail down which one of those two situations is true if we don't understand the why. You have to ask yourself that question a couple of times to really get to the root. Why am I miserable? Why do I think that this is a dead end job? It's a little easier if it's why do I want to make more money? That kind of answers itself. But if we're operating under the idea of escaping from something, it's important to understand why we think it's so terrible in the first place, so it'll help us turn that corner. Does that why have anything to do with coworkers or a boss that you're not happy with? Why are you not happy with that person? Is it because they don't treat you well? Is it because you think that you are being treated unfairly? Is that why? Because you're simply bored. There's so many different ways to answer that question, why? The more you can drill down and get to the root of that answer, the better chance of success you have. The other example was someone who's working on their overall health and fitness. Someone who maybe wants to lose weight. As obvious as it might seem in that scenario, you still have to ask yourself the question, why? Is it because you've been told and you know in your heart that you are truly at such an unhealthy weight that it's gonna impact your lifestyle? Is that the reason why? But here's another consideration. Maybe you have people around you telling you, no, you're really not fat. You're not out of shape then it's critically important to ask that question, why do I think I'm out of shape? It could truly be just a desire for self-improvement, and that's fine. But what if the reason that you truly think you're so out of shape is because you're too busy comparing yourself to others? If we arrive at that answer, then we're not done. We still have to ask, why are we comparing ourselves to others? Is it because someone has set an unhealthy expectation for us? Is it possibly because we've set an unhealthy expectation for ourselves? This method also requires a sincere effort to be honest with ourselves. It's too easy to hide behind our prejudices or hide behind our assumptions or hide from the truths that we don't want to admit to ourselves. 
but the fact remains, the better job we can do of identifying why it is that we're trying so hard to get somewhere or do something, why we place value in that specific thing, why it is that we're motivated by a certain type of situation, it's gonna set us up for our best chance of success. It may sound like a lot, but it really is that simple. Okay, so we have now covered the three keys to self-motivation. We started by understanding what it is specifically that we need to get motivated to do. We talked about what kind of factors and situations are driving us towards that solution, that goal. And now we've spent some time understanding the why behind the things we do, why certain things are important to us, why it is that we really wanna get away from this thing or achieve this other thing. And by taking the time to think through these three steps, these three keys, we truly have set ourselves up for a better opportunity to succeed by being more organized, more focused, and have a better understanding of what's truly going on up here. The last point I wanna make is that you don't have to go through this process alone. My life experience has taught me that there's always somebody out there that's willing to listen. Someone who is willing to lend a hand and help you get where you want to be. Part of the mission of this channel is my hope that I can be one of those people for you and maybe in the process motivate you to be that for someone else. If you've been with me through all three of the videos in this series, thank you. I truly, truly appreciate your time, your feedback, and the amazing comments that I've gotten on this topic of self-motivation. If you think I did a good job on this video or on the series, I'd love it if you'd give it a thumbs up and perhaps share the playlist of these three videos with someone that you think could benefit from them. If you have any ideas for topics you think I should cover on this channel, of course, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. That's gonna do it for now. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the road.